February is National Heart Month, and heart disease is the leading cause of death in the United States. Dr. Arthi Singh, uh, she's a cardiologist at the Cardiovascular Institute of the South, is sharing the importance of knowing the risk factors and symptoms of cardiovascular disease, particularly for women. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Now, are there any differences in heart disease among men and women? That's a big question. Yes, there definitely are. The symptoms women present are often more subtle than the obvious chest pain that is associated with a heart attack. So there is a spectrum. Some women have no symptoms whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Others have your classic cardiac angina, which is that crushing substernal chest pain that often radiates to the left arm. Other women may have symptoms with pain to the neck, the jaw, the back, or even upper abdomen. Sometimes heart disease is completely silent mm -hmm. and may not be diagnosed until a woman actually has her heart attack. So women often present, like I said, with more subtle symptoms, but they may actually have less symptoms overall when compared to men. Women also present at a later age and at a later stage of the disease. And as a result, with a heart attack, mm -hmm. women are more likely to die and be disabled from it than compared to men. All right, so very important. Now, what are the factors that put women at higher risk of developing heart disease? So there are the five, the big five, which okay. I call the big five, and they're common between men and women. So a family history of heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, and if you're a smoker. Besides these, there are women-specific risk factors. So if you're postmenopausal, especially if you're on hormonal replacement therapy. Also, if you've had any pregnancy-related complications, such as or preeclampsia, mm -hmm. or if you've had any miscarriages, or gestational hypertension or gestational diabetes. All right, so you're going to want to watch out for those. Now, Definitely. who needs to be screened, Dr. Singh? Well, I'm very passionate about women and heart disease, and I believe that with proper screening, we can work on prevention. So obviously, any woman that presents with signs and symptoms of heart disease should be screened regardless of age. But generally in my practice, I screen women aggressively, especially if they present with these symptoms and the risk factors that we mentioned after age 40. Anything else you want to leave us with today? Well, I want to say that at CIS, we are very much dedicated to the women in our various communities and able to provide them ease of access and increased comfort in seeking cardiovascular, comprehensive cardiovascular care. So for in more information about me and our various providers at our various locations, please visit us at cardio.com. All right. It is National Heart Month. It's the time to start thinking about these things, and it's never Never too late. Thank you so much. Thank it you. was truly a pleasure. Same here. We're going to take a break and be right back.